Let's get right to our top story, the apparent death of Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, the leader of ISIS. This is a story with major implications for this terror group, for the future of a volatile region, and for the political fortunes of President Trump. Uh, Baghdadi reportedly died in a raid carried out by U.S. forces in Syria. The news began to break overnight when President Trump tweeted out the words, quote, something very big has just happened. And we are expecting to hear from the president himself in just a few hours. We have team coverage this morning. Ian Panel and Martha Raddatz standing by, but we begin at the White House with ABC's Terry Moran. Terry, good morning. Good morning, Wick. Good morning, guys. Something very big did happen. This is a major victory uh, over extremist terror and in the chaos in Syria. The death of the leader of ISIS, who led that shadowy group to almost unimaginable triumphs and died last night on the orders of President Trump at the hands of U.S. Special Forces. This morning, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, the shadowy leader of the terror organization ISIS and one of the most wanted men in the world, is believed dead after a U.S. Special Forces raid. President Trump tweeting overnight, something very big has just happened. U.S. officials telling ABC News the reclusive founder of the Islamic State was the target of the American raid Saturday in Idlib in northwestern Syria. Another official telling ABC News al-Baghdadi is believed to have detonated a suicide vest as U.S. Special Forces carried out the ground raid, the blast also killing two of his wives. Al-Baghdadi is responsible for the brutal deaths of thousands of people who opposed his self-proclaimed caliphate ideologies and torturing anyone seen as a threat. Al-Baghdadi's reign began in the early summer of 2014. History will regard Baghdadi as a bloodthirsty tyrant. I mean, during his reign, uh, his organization conquered a vast stretch of territory, ruled over something like five million people, and he imposed his iron will and executed anyone who stood in his way. That sounds real familiar. The invasion of Iraq in 2003 that seems to have shaped al-Baghdadi, especially after he was detained by the U.S. military. The United States didn't view Baghdadi as a high-value uh, detainee. Uh, so they released him after 10 months of custody in uh, Abu Ghraib and also Camp Wuka. But it was in those places where he made some important connections uh, with people that would later rise with him through the ranks of the Islamic State. U.S. officials are holding off on a formal announcement until confirmation from the terrorist fingerprints. President Trump is expected to make an announcement later this morning. And that will happen here at the White House. That formal confirmation can come from Baghdadi's fingerprints and other biological markers because he was in U.S. custody and they've got that information. Eva? Well, Terry, the president has really been under tough scrutiny. The impeachment inquiry, members of his own party criticizing him for his decision in Syria. Is this a big victory for the president? Sure, it is a big victory for the president. It's also the kind of thing that Americans expect presidents to accomplish. I mean, it is hard to remember. I was in northern Iraq and Syria in 2014 when ISIS seemed unstoppable under al-Baghdadi's leadership. President Trump is the one uh, who decided to double down on eliminating their territorial gains. Now he's killed the leader. Uh, this is uh, the kind of presidential leadership that people do expect. Yeah.